the chat. Hey, Andre. Um, good morning. And uh, I'm just wondering, how have you kind of individually approached your role the last couple of games without Io there? Um, it's been hard, obviously. Um, as a freshman, having to step up, um, you know, it's not, not an easy thing to do, especially um, in the best conference in the, in the, you know, in the country. But, you know, I, I've always, you know, been a guy that, that likes challenges and, and that's what I came here for. Um, that's why I left Puerto Rico. Uh, I just, I wanted, you know, a better challenge. I wanted to um, continue to get better, continue to improve. And um, I'm all for it. I'm all, you know, I'm all in for the challenges and, and you know, that kind of challenge in specific, um, it's been really good because you just, you know, it's preparing me for, you know, what potentially could happen in the March Madness, um, Big Ten tournament. Um, you know, you never know what could happen. Um, but I, I love it. I love it. And, and you know, I'm going to continue to embrace and continue to get better because, you know, we're man down. So we just, you know, we, we was man down in, in those games. And, um, you know, we knew it. And, and that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you know, you have to pick up your brother, your brother. And, and that's what I, you know, what I've been doing, what everybody's been doing. Um, so, you know, just going to continue to embrace that role and, and try and get better every day. And this is the most minutes, points, rebounds you've had <clears throat> in a couple games in, in quite a while. What's this do for you personally? Uh, going um, in the yeah, um, it does. It does a lot, obviously. Um, excuse me. Um, you know, it brings more confidence. Um, not that I wasn't confident. But you know, a lot of you know, a lot of people think I, I can't do it, I can't shoot or whatever. But it's it's not about that. It's just, you know, I, I'm a guy that that will do whatever it takes to win. And, and you know, having guys like Io, having guys like Trent, Adam, Kofi, those are guys that you know are very elite at, at scoring the ball. And and sometimes, you know, yes, yeah, sometimes I, I need to shoot it because that forces either a turnover or something. And you know, I'm I'm very aware of that. Um, but like I've been saying, I'm, I'm here to improve and, and continue to get better. So um, that that's what it's all about. Just learn from it and, and, you know, try and just not do it the next game. Thanks, Andre. Sir. Hey, Andre, you guys have just thrived on a big stage this year and coming up this week, um, maybe the biggest that you guys have had all regular season. What is this matchup coming up with Michigan? Uh, do for you guys and how are you looking forward to this one? Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward uh, to that game a lot. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, like I, like I said before, I'm, I'm only in for, for the challenge and it's definitely going to be a great challenge for everybody. Um, you know, we, we've had a hell of a season so far um, and, you know, we're here to improve and, and, and that game is definitely going to be a um, statement game. Um, you know, and we just have to, you know, go in, in, into Michigan um, with a killer mentality, um, you know, like we've been having the, the past few games and, you know, try and get the job done for sure. And with everything that's on the line, what you guys are playing for here in the postseason, I mean, does that add a little more weight to what's already a, a pretty big matchup for you guys? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, you know, we, we like you said, like you all said, we were playing for, you know, some bigger um, so it definitely, um, you know, it, it's, it's a bigger challenge, obviously, you know, um, but we, like, like I've been saying, we, we're here for it. Um, that's what we want. Coach been saying it, um, you know, all, you know, the last few games on, on the road, we're here for it. We want it. Just bring them all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Andre. You kind of struggled or didn't have your best games for a little bit of a stretch there. And then all of a sudden IO goes down You've really put together two really key performances to help you guys get over the hump. What kind of has gone into that? And it looks like you're being a little bit more aggressive and getting back to maybe what you were doing earlier in the year a little bit. Um, I think it's it's. Let me see how what can I say. So uh, at the beginning, obviously everybody you know gets to play. Everybody gets to kind of like taste the water. Um, and and as the season goes on, everybody kind of. Like gets you know their own role and 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 I figured I you know like I said in, in the first couple of questions I didn't really you know have to to do as much um, you know just because we have guys to do it but now you know being <laughs> being being man down like it's it's 
you know, guys have to have to step up and um, you know, those games that that you know we've we've it stinks. <laughs> That's you from all the running and stuff. Sorry about that. Um so uh, just, just you know, guys have to step up and and, and you know um coach <laughs> coach been talking with me, coach been talking to everybody and and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna always do what what the game's what the game is, is is giving me. I'm never gonna, you know, do whatever I want for the game. I'm just always gonna wait and, and see what the game's what the game is giving me. You know, I think perfect example was Michigan State. Um, you know, had a rough first start, uh, first half. Um, but you know, I, I've just never seen um, anything like you know like the way they played. They were being very aggressive. Um, you know, and I, I wasn't expecting that. So second half came in and, you know, started doing a little more. Um, you know, we, we, we lost that game, but um, collectively, I think we, we, you know, we had a better second half and um, that's what it's all about. And, and personally, excuse me, that's what I'm always going to do. Just wait for the game um, to come to me and, and, and then, you know, I'll approach the game with whatever the game is going to give me. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you've really – in my opinion, at least taking some strides. What has gone into that, and what do you think has really helped you mature and get better on that end of the court this season? Um, definitely spending a lot of time with Trent um, during practice. Um, you know, whenever we get to talk um, during games on the bench or even, you know, during the game, free throw, whatever, um, we kind of talk a lot. Uh, you know, he's, he's a vet, so um, what better way to, to get better? And, you know, I always, like, to ask questions, um, coaching, coach, um, coach and Tiwa as well, um, because that that's something I, I like to take pride on. I know how good of the a defender I could be, and you know I think I'm, I already am. I just sometimes you know I have to quit that high school mentality and, and know that I'm in college already, and sometimes things won't work. Um, but you know that's what that's why Trent, Chin, and Tiwa are here for um, to help me out with that, and you know. Um, just trying to get better every day. Thanks, Andre. Thank you. Hey, Andre, you mentioned, you know, stepping up to, to pick up Io after he went down. Did you and Adam maybe have a conversation together before that? Because both of you kind of stepped up in a big way, you know, kind of embracing a little bit of a bigger role. I'm just wondering if, if you two had talked about it, if that kind of came from the coaches, maybe putting that on you or where um, where your kind of mindset came into those games from. Um, Just... Pure pride. I think Adam and, and, you know, I think Adam has it more than I do. Um, he's a kid that you don't really have to talk to him. Um, you know, he kind of knows it already. And, and I think, he, you know, obviously coaches were preaching about, hey, like, you know, guys have to step up and, and, and all that. But, um, you know, nobody had to tell him or had to tell me, hey, like, you got to do this, you got to do that. We just kind of knew. And, and like I said, especially him, he's a kid that, already knows it and and you know before every game I tell him um as soon as the national anthem is over I, I go up to him or right before he he comes to the game or whenever before tip um I tell him have a night um have have a night kid and you know I think so far he you know he he's done a hell of a job um stepped up big time in the last few games being man down and, and you know like I've been saying that's what it's all about pick, picking our brothers up and then kind of building on what you said earlier as well about, you know, getting up for that big stage, liking that challenge, looking back at, you know, maybe when you first committed or um, earlier in the season, what, is, how does it feel knowing that, you know, every game from here on out is, is going to be this big, you know, you got two top five matchups coming up, followed by big 10 tournament, followed by NCAA tourney. I think it's great. Um, and, and I love it. Like, like I've been saying, that's, that's what I'm here for. I love the challenge. I love big stages, big teams, because I'm, I'm, you know, it's some, it's a bad thing um, that I have, and and I'm trying to, I've been trying to change it, and, and it's, you know, to always um, play, you know, my my bring, always bring my A game, man. You know, I don't have nothing to hide. I, I I'm very real. Like, you know, I struggle with that. Sometimes I play down to the competition and. And, you know, we saw it against Michigan State. What a, what a better example. You know, I thought um, I could have done the things I usually do. And, um, you know, it wasn't working. And, and sometimes I just, you know, got to realize that 
um, you know, I'm playing with the big boys and, and it's the Big Ten Conference. So um, that's something, you know, I'm working on, always trying to bring the A game from the get go, not wait till things get, you know, bad or, or you know, wait till the second half or whatever, always trying to bring the A game um, from the tip. And, you know, um, as the, you know, games go by, days go by, I'm, I'm going to continue to improve on that end. And I think I've done a better job, you know, staying, staying connected with, with Fletch. Fletch does a great job with that. He's been helping me with, you know, being man down um, the last few games. Him, um, you know, the vets, Tyler, um, they, they've been, you know, trying to tell me that every game from now on, it's, you know, it's a big boy game. And, and you know, they, they're trying to challenge me and, and encourage me to, to always come in. I'm ready to go from the tip, and I mean, and it's always very important that I'm mentally ready. And I think the last few games, I I realized that that whenever I'm mentally ready, whenever I prepare mentally before the game, um, you know, I I play good, and and you know, everybody plays good, and I think we've done it um, so far. Uh, men down, um, senior night, all that, you know, just always playing for our brothers, and and you know. I think that's that's the mentality I had uh, for the last few games, and and I think it's you know I've done a pretty good job at you know coming in uh, you know mentally ready, and and you know all all credit to 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 the people around me because without them I I wouldn't be able to do it. Thanks, Andre. Okay. Hey, Andre. Over the course of really this season we've seen these videos of coach underwoods sprinting into the locker room screaming swinging at the air what's that like for you guys can you kind of take me in the locker room and what that means for you guys when you see your head coach kind of enjoying the moments like that oh it's it's great um you know coach underwood it's i really admire him and, and i really respect him a lot because he lives by example um he's he's always talked about you know stay safe with COVID and, and, and all that. And, you know, he's always, like, he's not telling us to do anything that he's not doing, if that makes sense. And, you know, just seeing him, um, he's a very, you know, hard coach. Everybody knows it. Um, he's going to get on, on, on our tails. But that at the end of the day, it's for the best. And, you know, having a coach that knows how to get out of that and, and enjoy victory and come to the locker room and, and, and celebrate with us, I think, it's a great thing um, to have as a coach because that not only shows that that he cares about winning, that he cares about us as players, but um, it also shows that 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 side of him that he actually enjoys winning. And, and when we win um, those tough games, um, you know, he gives a lot of credit to us and, and how we prepare. Excuse me. And in the last few games, I think we've done it. We you know we've we've come ready to go. And we've played our, our butt off, and, and you know he's 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 been giving giving us a lot of credit just because of the how our schedule is. Um, you know we've played four games, three games in a week, barely time to rest. Everybody's exhausted, everybody's tired, but um, you know having that that side of you know of our coach is very important because. He, he's the head. He's the head coach. He's the head of of the snake, and, and he's the one that's gonna lead us um, to what we want to accomplish. So having that side of him is very important, and, and it's a very good thing to have um, as a coach. And you know, I think it's I think everybody enjoys that from him. Do you remember the first one that you were a part of, and what you kind of thought when he came storming in like that? Um, to the locker room, like after a victory. Yeah. First one, I don't really remember, but I think. After, you know, when we have those kind of wins, um, I think he, he he always does the same thing. He comes in, hey, let's go. And, and and I just love it. Every time he does that, like, you know, I'm always trying to, like, mock him or, or something but because I, I just love it. And it's funny every time he comes in, and, ah, let's go. So I, I just love it. And, you know, it's a, it's very good that, that he's like that. And, like I said, he, you know, everybody thinks he's like a bad, you know, tough and tough guy all the time. But, you know, if you saw him off the court and, and you know, of the basketball practices and, not, you know, no basketball, he's probably one of the, the sweetest guys that, that you could ever meet. Thanks, Andre. I appreciate it. No problem.
there, is that it? Is there, is there time for one more? Yep. Uh, Andre, uh, uh, your team tweeted out a, an image with Io and Kofi and Trent recreating a poster from 2005. And hold just on, curious. Hold on. Sorry. Yo, yo. Damn, geez. Sorry. You can't control them. <laughs> uh, your team tweeted out a post, a recreation of a poster that was popular in 2005 with Darren D and Luther and and the, and the run of the national championship and all that. Just wondering if you have a sense of how much sense of history you have with what your team potentially could do and uh, the meaning it has to the fan base, given how young you were the last time the team had uh, this much buzz. Um, I think I, I, you know, we we have a great team. Um, um, I think everybody's aware of that. I think we're, we're loaded. We have so many, you know, so much potential, so much talent. And, you know, I think having this kind of team, it's, 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 I, I, I like the team we have and, and I'm very excited, um, you know, for our next couple of games, especially Tuesday and Saturday, um, they're going to be statement games. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see how, how, you know, we, we go out and, and, and approach those games. And, you know, after those two games, um, everybody knows we have a Big Ten tournament coming up. We have the, after that, we have March Madness. And, um, you know, we're not really thinking about that as much, but we're trying to focus on, on Tuesday game. Um, it's one game at a time, man. And, you know, this team is very talented, and I think we, we can get it done. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, how, how folks we come in. Um, every day because you know even though it's it's not time to rest a lot but we just I think if we come in mentally um, prepared and and you know ready to go from the get-go um, I don't think there's no fatigue or, or tiredness um, that could stop us because when we're mentally dialed in we we were very very hard team to stop. You're familiar at all when you came here about uh, some of those past teams like like Darren and D and Luther in 2005, or even going way back to can, Final Line. Can you repeat that again? I couldn't hear the, the first part. Oh, Just curious, when you came here, if you had a, if you knew much of the history of the program, especially that 2005 team or the um, Final yeah. Line back in '89. Yeah, I've I've, I've heard a um, couple things um, about it. Obviously, more more so of the um, D Will and 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 all those guys. Um, but not don't really know much, like a lot, a lot. I just know that that 2005 team was very good. They made it to the final four. Um, you know, they were they were very very talented. Um, but you know, we we're just trying to do something like that or, or even better. You know, if we can make it to the final four, it's great. I think um, I think that personally, the the team we have is capable to at least elite eight, and you know. There's no ceiling after that. After that, it's either national championship or nothing. So, um, like I've been saying, we just got to come in ready to go and, you know, um, don't really live to the expectations. Um, just kind of just worry about us and, and play Illinois basketball. Hey, thanks. I have one more if I can just jump in real quick. Um, obviously, it seems like you guys have had a lot of, like, what do you say? Sorry. I just said this is the last one. Go ahead. Um, you guys have just had a lot of like late game situations this season, and it seems like Underwood trusts you a lot to be out there in those final minutes, especially against Wisconsin um, when Io couldn't be out there. What have you just learned from the veterans on this team about handling those situations, and how do you think like your growth has been throughout the season with those? Um, I think I think it's been great. Um, as a team, we we've done like I like I've been saying, hell of a job. Um, it's been a very, very rough year, um, especially for us freshmen, um, you know. But I think what it, that what it's all about is just continue to improve, and and I think we've done we've done that ever since we started practicing. I I remember the first couple of games couldn't guard a soul, um, couldn't do really couldn't really do much, but. Um, as a team, we, we've connected, um, we've became closer with each other, and, and I think having each other's back and, and building that bond and, and that brotherhood, um, I think it's helped um, not only for us freshmen, but for everybody on the team. I think everybody um, has always room to improve. And, and uh, I, I pre 
personally, as a player, I preach about that. There's always room to improve and, and you know, being connected and, and, and staying together as brothers. Uh, I think that's what was going to get us um, Big Ten Championship and National Championship. So we just got to continue to improve, you know, folks on, on, on you know, take it game by game, um, practice by practice. You know, today we have practice. So um, just focus on today and, and prepare for, for, for Tuesday and not really think ahead and about, you know, Saturday's game or, or Big Ten um, tournament games or March Madness. Just kind of take it day by day and, and you know, go from there and live in the moment. All right, thank you, Bello. Appreciate your time. Um, you can hit mute there, but don't hang it up because Coach Underwood is up next. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.